Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Yasin and welcome back to another episode of the best Android setups. Today we are going to be duplicating a setup called Shadows. Now this was actually voted as the best setup from the best Android setups episode 12. Episode 13 is live right now if you guys haven't seen it. I will link it down below in the description. Make sure you check it out. There are some awesome setups in that video. Also, everything in the setup that I'm about to show you guys today will be linked down below in the video description of this video. And I went ahead and already downloaded everything so that I could keep the video short, simple, and quick. And that way we can get right to the point. So with all that said, uh, let's jump into the setup and show you guys exactly how to duplicate the setup shadows. In this setup, if we go to the YouTube video where the setup is from, the best Android setups episode 12 or the description in this video, you will see that the shadow setup needs Nova Launcher. There is the Nova Launcher backup, the Nexa icon pack, KWGT widget, uh, shadows for KWGT widget. It will be number six and number 12. And then you also need the wallpaper. So that's everything that you are going to need in this setup and you should have everything downloaded. And once you have everything downloaded, then you wanna jump into Nova Launcher. And this is what the stock Nova Launcher looks like, three different pages. Uh, first thing that I like to do is change the wallpaper and you can just press and hold on the home screen, go to wallpaper, go to pick image and make sure that you are in the downloads folder and it's that black wallpaper and you wanna say set lock and home screen and now you are set. The next thing that we can do is actually press and hold and go into settings and go down to backup and restore and click restore and then you want to go to browse. Now when you go into browse you want to make sure that you are in your downloads folder and it's going to be the shadows download that you downloaded from the video from this video description. You want to click on it. It's going to say do you want to overwrite current layout and then you are going to click OK. Once you click OK, it's going to take you to the home screen and this essentially is what the setup looks like. There is a widget missing at the top and a widget missing at the bottom, but the icon packs have effectively become the Nexi icon packs and the only one that's not like that is this phone one, but you can always swipe uh, swipe up to go into the home screen and replace that icon with something else by pressing holding and clicking remove and then going into the home screen and grabbing another icon so that it goes better with the flow. Also to double check the icon packs have changed, you can click anywhere on the home screen, uh, go into settings, go into look and feel, go to icon theme and go to the Nexi icon pack. That's what is selected. So if you download everything and then you do the restore, then it'll pretty much restore everything except for the two widgets and I'm going to show you how to do those widgets right now but first let's just place an icon over there because it looks kind of weird with nothing there so I'm just gonna take the clock and put it right there so we click on the top and it's going to take us to our installed um, icon packs or plugins and you can go to different sections installed exported backup and these are things that you exported and backed up but if you go to installed then you want to look for the shadows for kwgt and in the shadows we know that the top one is shadows number six so we want to scroll that's the one it is you want to select on number six you want to click save swipe back home and that's what the home screen one looks like. Uh, you can press and hold and say resize and make it bigger. Uh, but if it's already as big as it's allowed to be on the home screen, but you still want it to be bigger than it is right now, you can go back into the widget and then you could go to layers and just change the scaling from 100 to like 120%. And you'll see that the sides are getting, I don't, let me actually make this a little bit brighter. So you'll see that the sides are perfectly in line and you can click save and go home and now it's going to be perfect up there. And then you have the bottom widget and you can press on it and go back into the shadows for KWGT and it was number 12. So this is the one right here. You can click on it, click save, go home and that's what it looks like. So like I mentioned in the video where I showcased this setup, you can actually customize what these icons do. For instance, when you click Gmail, it'll take you to the Gmail. If you click contact, nothing happens, but you could go ahead and go into here and go into items and find that contact icon and change it up. But 
that would take like forever if I went to try to tweak every little thing. But overall, this is the setup. You have the top widget, the bottom widget, the icon packs, the wallpaper, and that is shadows. So that was the setup shadows. I hope the tutorial was very straightforward and easy to follow. Like I said at the beginning of the video, everything about the setup will be linked down below in the description. If you guys wanna check out more Android setups, make sure to check out episode 13 of the best Android setups. And if you guys enjoyed the video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Also, if it's your first time here, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, stay plugged.